Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this tutorial, we will extract data from PDF forms using Power Automate. So before we get into the demo, let's look at our use case. I have got few forms in my SharePoint document library. The forms look like this. I want to go ahead and extract data from these forms, mainly the form fields from the PDF such as name, travel, the date of travel description. This data I want to update in a SharePoint list. To do that, we are going to use Power Automate. So firstly, I will start with creating a flow. This is a one-time activity. That is why I'm going to use an instant flow. However, you can go ahead and create automated flow. For example, when a file is created or modified or run it on schedule, it's completely dependent on your use case. So here I have selected a manual trigger. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the files from SharePoint. So I'll say get files, properties only, and I'll select the site. I'll select the library, travel request. Next, I want to go and get the file content. So I'll say get file content. I'll select the site and I'll pass it the identifier. The identifier is the output of the get files action. As soon as I pass in the identifier, it decorates the get file content with a apply to each loop because the output of the get files is an array. Now that I have the file content, the next step is to extract the fields. To extract the fields, I'm going to use the Mohimbi export form data action. To this, I'm going to pass in a source file name. So it's going to be file name with extension and I'm going to pass it the file content, which is the output of the get file content action. I'll export it as an XML. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a compose so that I can go and look at the output. I'll add a compose and I'll pass it processed file content. At this point, I'm going to run my Power Automate such that I can see the output of the data in a Compose action. So I'm going to click on Test and I'm going to run it manually. Perfect. So let's expand the Compose action and you see that the Compose action has actually returned as a base 64-bit string. But we don't want that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in a formula base 64 to string and here I'm going to pass it the processed file content and this time we should have the output as a string rather than a base 64 bit encoded string. Perfect so here there is the compose action and we get the data as an XML. Perfect. The next step would be to extract meaningful data out of this XML and update it in a SharePoint list or update it in a column for the SharePoint list. So to do that, I need to go and use XPath to parse the data. The, however, the first step would be to actually get the data. So to get the data, I'm going to use an online tool, codebeautify.org. And here I'm trying to create and I'm trying to extract data from it. So the data that I need is name, the name one, that is the description, and then the date. So let's see. So first it tells me if I just hit the forward slash like this, it will give me the root element. After I get the root element, I can actually specify the name of the root element. The name of my root element is fields. So fields, perfect. So it returns me the fields. After the fields, I need to go into the node. The node in my case will be name. So I can say text, test xpath and it returns me Richard M. Next, what I want to do, I want to access the text property of it. So I can say text. So this is my xpath. And this is the X path that I'm going to use in Power Automate to extract data, right? So similar to the name, I can also get name one. 
and I can also get the date. So I can use these formulas in my Power Automate. So let's create the list items. So to create the list items, I'm going to use SharePoint connector and I'll type in create item. I'm going to select the site and I'm going to select the list name that is travel details. Next, what I want to do is I want to fill in the blanks with the data that I exported. So to do that, I need to use an XPath, which I created. So firstly, I need to pass in my data in an XML format. So let's start with creating an expression. So expression, XML. And I want to pass in the data. The data is now, as of now, in the compose action. So compose. Next, I want to use XPath. So the XML is there. I need to give it an XPath path. So this is the path that I need to give. And I'm going to say name because name is the first field I want to extract. Next, I want to decorate this with single quotes or else the formula will scream at me and this should return an array. So I just need the first element from the array or the collection. And that should be it. Let's see if our formula works. Perfect, our formula works. So I can copy the same formula and just change the expression a little. So the date of travel will be date dot text and the description would be name one dot text perfect so that's it the time has come to test our solution so i'll save my flow and i'll test my flow again so i'll set it to manual i'll test it run done our flow has completed successfully. If I go back to my details list and if I refresh here, my friends, I have got all the data extracted from the forms and updated to the list. I hope this tutorial was informative and thank you for your time. Bye-bye.